Many Americans show up for each other through these difficult times, but scammers are also showing up for us when we need them least. They're always around the corner, right? Uh, with me this morning is BBB of Greater Houston, Leah Napoliello. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. You know, it, it, it's sad that we have to have this conversation during hurricane season when people truly are suffering, when they are hurting. But it, it's the ugly truth of this reality. There are scammers out there preying upon people right now, specifically during a time when they are down. Right, exactly. So we often see the contractor scams, you know, people hire a contractor and pay the money up front and then the work's not completed or also they may do shoddy work. So there are many legitimate contractors, but you have to be careful and um, choose the right one before you hire them. It, does this have a term, is it called document replacements scams? Is that, is that what we're calling us? Yes, exactly. So um, people lose their vital records after yeah. hurricanes too. So um, the scammers know that as well. So they create websites, fake websites looking like they're government agencies to try to fool people into going on those sites and paying a huge hefty fee in order to get those records. Sometimes people never even get the records that they're seeking. Mm -hmm. um, so it can be a really bad situation. How do scammers uh, get people's addresses? How do they get, and I'm saying physical addresses, because in some instances, these people are showing up at your door. Right, yeah. So they know who has been um, affected by a disaster. So they will come to the door directly, knock on the door. Pose um, as someone here mm -hmm. to help. Right, exactly. They'll pose as someone that can help you, but then um, they may enter your home, do work without really um, your permission, take your money. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know what's going to happen. So um, just be ca cautious if anyone comes to your door, too, after a disaster. For those who have important documents that are missing after disaster, what should they do? The best thing to do is to go to um, official government agency sites. So the uh, USA.gov is a great site where you can go on and find your vital records um, there. They have resources to uh, put you in touch with other agencies where you can get those records. So go to those official websites, USA.gov and also Texas.gov for local state records. Really great resources. Mm -hmm. and, and this reminder this morning, Leah, for people watching uh, who are preparing or who are trying to aid their loved ones in Florida. Florida, you know, uh, given Hurricane Adalia is moving through that area. Uh, it's important to use a credit card and not a debit card. Right, exactly. Um, so if you are going on these sites wanting to purchase or get your vital records back, use a credit card because there are more protections in place. So um, you can dispute any charges with your credit card company, whereas with a debit card, you don't have those types of protect protections. And if it's a scam site, they could potentially drain your account if you use a, a debit card. So definitely use a credit card instead when you're online making any purchase. All great tips, all great suggestions. Leah, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate sure. your time. Thank you.